Hey, New City, and welcome back to the $5 Gift Club, where we believe that small amounts can have a huge impact. This month, we sat down with Thea Smiley, a single mother who had just faced the worst year of her life. Through it all, she found comfort, support, and friendship as she exemplifies that you cannot do life alone. We've been talking about stewarding relationships as good gifts given by God, and I'm so excited to show you how your generosity has impacted this family this month. So we're sitting here with our friend Thea to hear a little bit about your story, um, to encourage one another when, we, when we're talking about relationships. Um, but to begin with, let's just learn a little bit more about you. So Thea, why don't you tell everybody a little bit about yourself? So my name is Thea Smiley and I am a single parent. I have a daughter, she's 16, Naya. And I work at Wake and Dospy Center and work very hard for the both of us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's really cool. So we just rolled into 2018, mm-hmm. um, a brand new year. But but why don't you tell us a little bit um, how 2017 was for you and your daughter? Well, 2017 was my worst year of my life. Mm-hmm. I, um, I lost my grandmother and uh, she raised me. She took care of me. She was my everything yeah. and I took care of her until the end and it was hard seeing her go downhill but yeah. um, she she lived a great life and after that I lost my mind literally. oh man so I had a mental breakdown and mm. became suicidal and just wanted to check out on life what's that like being a single mother knowing that you have your daughter you know I can't imagine that kind of pressure what was that like it's a lot of pressure because there were days that I didn't remember my name and didn't know where I was going so trying to be a parent to her was hard because I didn't like myself nor did I know who I was yeah so and I didn't understand what was going on until I had a breakdown yeah so what do you think was your turning point in that? What what changed all that? Um, I think my grandmother's death changed it. Yeah. It was just a wake up call. Life was just spiraling out of control. Anything yeah. I wanted to, I wanted to hurt myself. I didn't want to live. Yeah. I didn't want to work. I couldn't remember things, and I had to hit rock bottom. Yeah. So we have a special friend, um, and I think she's meant a lot to you. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, I, and I want to for, for you to have the moment to, look, to share a little bit about that. But Jan, why don't you come on in here? Um, because I know that this is a big part of your story. Yes. Um, so, so real quick, because we're, we're looking at, you know, relationships are something that God has given us, mm-hmm. that we are to steward, that we are to take care of, that we are to really press into each right. other. Um, and one of our mission statements here is new, at New City is that you cannot live life alone. You cannot do life alone. So why don't you just take a moment? What has it been like to know that you have a friend like Jan? Uh, it's just like you said, it is a God-given gift. I felt all alone. And because I was all alone, I didn't want to share yeah. what was going on with me. And sometimes people see for sure what you for don't sure. see. So she saw a lot of stuff. Yeah. And I could come to her, I could talk to her. I always felt like she was just an angel, even at work, you know. Yeah. But she retired since then and I just always want to go towards her. Yeah. And the love she shared. Yeah. Just was what I needed. Yeah. I mean, you know, like for you to feel alone and someone just come up and pick you up. Yeah. It just, you know, it was got nothing but God. So I was so grateful for having that person. Yeah. Yeah. Jan, why don't, do you have anything to share about Thea? You know, what, what drives you to care for someone like that? Well, I knew Thea from work and I knew how hard she worked yeah and how much she loved her daughter and her grandmother and um, when her grandmother died it she did uh, take it very very hard yeah and not even being able to to make it through a day yeah um, 
I knew there was something I, I could do. So I started texting her every morning with some uplifting um, verse or encouraging story based on God's truth. Yeah, and, and we know how much we need that. Yes. Um, and, and I think it's, it's so encouraging to see tangible evidence of we can't do life alone, that we need one another. And, and Thea, we invited you here to share your story a little bit with the church um, of what would it look like to know that you don't have to live life alone and that you have someone. Um, but we partially fibbed because we actually received your info from Jan. Jan reached out to us. Um, and here at New City Church, we have something called the $5 Give Club. Um, and so each month we invite the families of New City Church to give an additional $5 um, on top of their regular monthly offering. And Jan reached out because she cares for you and says she would be a perfect recipient for this month's $5 Give Club. So for this month, I have a check for you for $330 from New City Church that we just want to give this um, to help you out. And so we hope that this helps. <laughs> Sorry to lie a little bit, oh my um, but that's yours. Your name's on it. And so Jan reached out to us and we just want to do our part because we love what y'all have going on right here. Oh, I want to hug you. I want to hug you. <laughs> Oh my gosh, thank you so much. Of course, of course. Oh, absolutely. I love hugs. Thank you so yes, much. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am.